words, but I will let them bruise. Hi everyone and welcome to my channel or welcome back if you've been here before. So in today's video I'm gonna take you window shopping with me again, I know, and we're also still on the New York City vlogs. Definitely make sure to check out the vlogs that I already uploaded. I'm gonna link to them in the description box below. But yeah, for today's video I decided to group together the Italian brands that I checked out while I was in New York City. So Fendi, Gucci and Salvatore Ferragamo. I really hope you enjoyed today's video. Ferragamo is quite a newfound love of mine, in particular ever since I purchased my studio bag. I'm gonna link to the unboxing and reveal video of that one as well. But yeah, I guess before I ramble on any further, let's get started. But before we do, in case this is your first time watching, hi, my name is Leslie. I'm so glad to have you here. On my channel, I talk about all things luxury, in particular handbags, but also jewelry, accessories and other good stuff. I film unboxing videos, hauls, reviews, comparison videos, shopping vlogs and the occasional travel vlog thrown into the mix. So if that sounds like a thing, I would love for you to consider subscribing to my channel. Also ring the bell so you don't miss out on any of my upcoming videos and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it, that would really help me out a lot. And now let's get started. All right, so let's start with Fendi, shall we? By the way, if you notice a change in outfits throughout the video in particular, like when I'm filming me walking past the mirror and stuff, I filmed these clips on different days at different locations. So yeah, that's why. We're currently looking at the footage that I got in Bergdorf Goodman, which is basically at the, let me think, southern east corner of Central Park. And they did have quite a huge selection, like basic and core collection items, but also yeah, really special ones. Like look at this baguette, for example, super intricate. And this one right here, the like raffia material one, I wasn't able to find on the website. So I guess it's also more on the special side. This, by the way, the O-Log mini camera case is so pretty. I did check it out in the Soho boutique and also tried it on. So yeah, let's cut to that. I initially went into the Soho Fendi boutique to check out some of their Fendace items, but they literally had nothing left. By the way, check out my Fendace vlog. I did stumble across the Fendace pop-up store in Soho and their selection was amazing. So yeah, I'm gonna leave a link to the Fendace vlog down below. And here we have the O-Log mini camera case again. Also, I mean, for Fendi standards, for a full leather handbag, and it's not like super, super mini, it's quite spacious actually, 1,200 euros is quite an okay-ish price tag, I guess. And yeah, it has a top handle, the Twilly on there, or I think Fendi calls them Rappi. Obviously it doesn't come with a bag, but even without the Twilly or Rappi, it looks amazing. Fendi first again in like a cloth or like fabric material. Another really special baguette with mink fur and lamb and goat skin. Quite on the pricey side, I guess, but I mean, it's fur. And oh, another beautiful Fendi first in the small size. Next off, let's show Ferragamo some love. I checked out their Fifth Avenue boutique and I mean, good for me, but sadly for Ferragamo, as basically every Ferragamo boutique that I've ever been to, it was basically empty. And yeah, I mean, that kind of breaks my heart because yeah, it's definitely an underrated brand in my opinion. One thing that's kind of irritating, which I realized when I researched some of these style names is that they call a lot of their items Gancini. I hope I'm pronouncing that somewhat correctly. So a lot of their jewelry items are called something involving the Gancini thing. Also some of the handbags and then like, for example, quilted Gancini or like top handle Gancini. So uh, it was a little hard to like refer to the particular items. Oh, this card holder is also called Gancini, Gancini credit card holder. And if you've watched my Salvatore Ferragamo unboxing, you may recognize this pattern, just so beautiful. And somewhat reasonably priced in particular when you consider that the card holder is full leather. Okay, one quick update on me complaining about the Gancini naming thing. 
Ganshin is actually what their logo is called. So, I mean, I get it. And they are definitely better in naming their items than Chanel, for example, where everything is basically called like bag with handle or like OKs. Um, but still, I mean, I get it that any item that features their logo should be called something involving the actual name of the logo itself. But on the other hand, when there are so many different styles and designs that all carry the name Gancini with some like addition, as I said, with top handle or like quilted Gancini, it tends to get a little confusing, but I fully acknowledge that that's basically just me being nitpicky. So here we have a bag that isn't called something involving Gancini. This is called the Trifolio bag. Um, I'm pretty sure I butchered that. Not particularly my style, but I mean, if you think about it, this is a full leather bag and it looks like woven raffia. So I'd imagine a lot of work goes into that and it's hand woven according to their website. And then I checked out the shoe section. Some of you may know, I think I've mentioned it a couple of times that I'm not the biggest fan of spending luxury money on shoes because I don't know, I can't quite stomach the quite heavy price tags for something that touches the ground and gets dirty inevitably basically. So yeah, I'm good with sticking to spending my money on handbags, but it's always fun to look at shoes in particular because Ferragamo is also known for their shoes. Like a circle that floats around me, keeping me safe and sound. And with all you've tied a rope to me, you're blessing me every day. I was down with an illusion, like a sparrow with broken wings. But now I shine with your reflection on me. I'm getting back up on my feet. And then I went into this section, I think it's like a special section dedicated to the history of Ferragamo. There was an information plate, which I'm sure you won't be able to read. So I typed out what it says on there. So yeah, Ferragamo is a super heritage brand founded in Florence, Italy. And there they apparently have like kind of a museum or exhibition, which makes sense. And lastly, let's check out Gucci. I went into the Soho boutique, which was super beautiful, like very unique, I guess. I mean, first and foremost, I love the exposed brick wall, which a lot of boutiques in Soho do because it's kind of, yeah, the Soho style, I guess. But also the entire boutique is like super vintage inspired and has like a really homey feeling, kind of like a 70s or 80s living room, basically. And of course, the selection was amazing. So yeah, a lot of Diana bags. This is the bamboo handle, bamboo top handle, something like that in all black. Also really beautiful. And the giant Gucci Supreme monogram. Looking angry, but then the sky. Send me 
Even though it hurts, I won't show it to you Cause it will ricochet, I won't let it bite I will look at you and tell you that I'm alright Like a ricochet, it will come back to you yeah. They also had quite an extensive like home goods section and also stationery, super cute and yeah, also quite novelty, not something I would spend luxury money on, but super fun to look at. And the last stop for today's video is going to be the Fifth Avenue Gucci Boutique. That one has three floors, so quite a big one. And yeah, of course I did take a look at handbags. I'm not that much of a fan of the Gucci Supreme print, but this like white and beige color combination is quite subtle, so that would be something I'd be able to get behind. Same thing goes for the Gucci Marmont, not a fan, and my impression would be that the Gucci Marmont is kind of over, but apparently the demand is still there because the black on black one that the SA showed me is a recent release, so they keep releasing new iterations of the Gucci Marmont line, so there's that. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. If you stuck around until the end of the video, give it a thumbs up if you haven't already and consider subscribing. I upload every Wednesday. And if you enjoy my New York City vlog series so far, there might be a handful of videos still coming your way. So be on the lookout for that. And I can't wait to see you back for one of my next videos. So until then, bye.